This is RTU5015 plus RTU GSM controller. That is mainly used for the GSM gate opener. We already have powered on it with DC 12 voltage and also connected to the PC with the USB programmer. Okay, and firstly, we have a look at the PC software. This is the PC software for the RTU board. This is the COM port number. We firstly need to select. If you cannot find the COM port, that means the USB still haven't installed the USB driver. After installing the USB driver, you will find the COM port in the device manager, Windows. And then select the right COM port and we collect the open. And then input the right password and the default password is 1234 and then we log in. Okay, after logged in, this area can be added. This is a basic settings. Can select the, can configure the device parameters. For example, only authorized number can control or not. Enable alarm input or disabled alarm mode and all these areas can be added. We should introduce this alarm input text. That means when the input port is shorted to GND, we send the SMS text. This SMS text can be customized with these commands. And this is the SMS relay command. We also can use a customized context SMS text to control the relay output. That means after you program the numbers into in the authorized numbers list, and then you only need to give this text to the users, and the users can only send this text, no need to know the password to control the relay output. For example, if we define it as WSD, then other users only send to WSD, then can control the relay to on, and can define another text, for example, WA, and other number, other people only send the WA to control the relay output. They will no need to know the password with the command. Of course, in advance, before they can control, you need to program their numbers into the authorized number list. This is the number list. We can read all. And also we can delete select. We can select more numbers to delete, to delete it one time. This is the historical data. data. that is stored in the device memory chip. Any numbers control the device or send the SMS command to control or read the device information. It will be recorded. Help, if you don't know, you can read the manuals in this page. This is the simple introduction, introduction of the PC software for the RTU5015 Plus board. And later, we will start the video to test the RTU board. Of course, before start, we need to program the numbers into the device. For example, this is number one. This is my mobile phone number. And we can select the set button. Okay, already input. If you only want to input this one, you can just select the first one and set the. If you select more, and we are set more numbers into the device. Okay, thank you. Now we start to test the RTU 5015 plus board. 
First, we need to prepare a DC 12 voltage and also need to prepare a SIM card and a styro. We need to connect the styro in this port and also need to short the DC 12 voltage to the COM port. I think we can read the manual to know more in detail. Connect the antenna and also prepare a battery for the power failure alarm and also need to prepare a SIM card. First, we install the SIM card. Okay, now we start to power on. After power on, the GSM LED will start to flash. And after connected, it will keep lit around the two minutes. And during these two minutes, we can send the RESET command to reset the device password. And after the two minutes, the device will not accept the reset command. Okay, now it is already connected to the GSM LED and the LED keep lit. And during this time, now, we can send the RESET command to reset the password. Of course, we also plug the battery. And this LED, after two minutes, it will show uh, flash with red. That means alarm is, is enabled. And if flash with green color, that means the alarm is disabled. And we need to wait around two minutes. We wait the first two minutes finished. Okay, the LED already start to flash. flash. And also it flashes with red color. So that means the alarm input is enabled. Okay, now we shot the alarm input. We just test one. Okay, start to send the alarm SMS. Siren start to beep. Okay, received the alarm SMS. And now we try to use the mobile phone to dial it. And then the LED will flash with green for 10 minutes. Okay, relay toggled. Flash green. And now the input port is disabled. Even you shot the input, that is no use. This status will be kept for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will be enabled again automatically. Okay, and now we start to test the power failure alarm. Start to send the alarm SMS. Okay, we received the normal power off alarm. Relay is off and now relay is off. It also reported the relay status. Power on again. Okay, send the alarm SMS if the LED, this LED start to flash. Okay, start to send the SMS. Okay, received. No more power on again. Relay is off. Okay, and we just simply introduced this GSM RTU board. If you need to program the parameters 
program the numbers into the device, you can use the PC software. Of course, uh, if you don't want to use the PC, PC software for some simple command, you can use the SMS to program it directly. No need the PC software. Uh, for the SMS command, we can read the manual. That is very easy to compile the command and send the command to program the device. Thank you.